This week, I want to share with you this story that really touched me about this lady named Kara Brookings. Now, Kara was a single mother who was raising four children. Um, back in 2008, her children ranged anywhere from age two to age 17. And she had just recently gotten divorced from her second husband. Uh, she was in a very abusive relationship and she decided that, you know what, the only way for her and her kids to survive that relationship was for them to leave that situation. So she decided to get divorced, but Kara had a, a small problem. She didn't have a home for her and her four children. Now, uh, at the time, she, ne she needed to make sure that she had a home that was big enough for her and her four kids, and she just didn't quite have the money that she needed to buy the size home that they would need. Uh, fortunately, Kara was driving one day, and as she uh, contemplated on what she was going to do, she ended up having this epiphany. She drove by this home that had been ravaged by a tornado, and, you know, uh, the home hadn't finished being built yet. And all she saw was the, the two by fours there and the nails and, you know, this this unfinished home, right? The home was probably like quarter finished or whatever. And Kara had this uh, epiphany that, you know what, she could she could build her own home. You know, she wouldn't have the type of money that she would need in order to buy the home that she needed. But you know what? If she figured out how to build a home, she would be able to build a home. So she did have a piece of uh, property and she went ahead and sold this piece of property and took the money from the property, that, from the sale of the property. And uh, she went and bought all the materials and all the tools that she needed in order to build a home. And you're probably saying, well, this lady probably had some sort of experience with house building before, but no, she didn't. She had absolutely no experience at all. What she would do is before she went and bought the, the property and brought the, bought the materials that she needed, she went and watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Now, this is back in 2008, like shortly after YouTube had come out, and there were videos on how to build a home on YouTube, but it wasn't as extensive as it is right now, right? Because we're talking about what, eight, nine years ago. So this lady would every single evening sit there on YouTube and watch as many videos as she possibly could on how to build a home. And that's what she decided to do. So after she sold her property, got her money together, went and bought all her materials, she knew that, you know what, at that point in time, she had already spent all her money buying the piece of land and buying all the materials and the tools that she needed. So guess what? There was no turning back. There was no turning back. She did what? She, she, she burnt the ships, right? She, she burnt the ships. She knew that, you know what? There's no way that I can go back. I, I, we we got to move forward now. And her and her four children figured it out. They learned how to build a home through watching YouTube. Now, she would enlist some help from people that were a little bit more experienced um, than her. But for the most part, her and her four children built this home. And within nine months, they built a 3,500 square foot home. Can you believe that? They built a 3,500 square foot home in nine months. All because, you know what, they decided that they needed a home and that they were going to do it. So here's the challenge that I pose to you. What is it that you want to learn how to do that you've been putting off and, and coming up with all sorts of excuses as to why you can't learn to do it, right? We have this phenomenal tool called YouTube, and I probably have talked about this quite a bit on these videos, but I just really wanted to just share this story and just show you what it is that you can possibly do. Now, this lady learned how to build a home on YouTube nine years ago, and YouTube probably didn't have a quarter of the amount of videos that they have right now. You can learn how to do absolutely anything on YouTube. So here's the thing. I want you to sit down, put some thought into this, and think about something that you've wanted to do, something that you've wanted to learn how to do, right? Um, and, 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 and make a promise to yourself that you're going to sit down and, and study as many videos as you possibly can on YouTube this year and learn how to do that. And, and just really think about how learning how to do that could possibly change your life. Look at how it changed this lady's life. She didn't even have a home for her and her children to live in. I think they were renting out a very, very small home. And now because of the fact that they went on, learned how to build this home on YouTube and said, you know what, we're going to do it. 
We're going to make up our mind to do it because we don't have any other option. They did it and now they have a home. So there's something out there that, that you can learn how to do that would probably absolutely change your life. Now, it may not be a home. I'm not advocating that you go on YouTube and learn how to build your own home or build your own car. But there's something that you've been wanting to learn how to do that I can promise you this. If you take the time to go on YouTube or whatever other uh, mediums or forms that are out there and learn how to do it, you can learn how to do it as well and change your life as well. All right. So make that promise to yourself that you're going to pick something that you've been wanting to learn how to do. Maybe it's just to sew clothes. Maybe it's to bake a cake. I, I don't know. Maybe it's to become a chef. It doesn't matter what it is, but there's something that you can learn on YouTube, some sort of way that you can improve yourself right? That could possibly change your life and make that decision this year that you're going to learn how to do it. You're going to sit there. You're going to dedicate time, whether it be 30 minutes every day or however much amount of time that you can dedicate to it. And you're going to learn and you're going to become a master at doing something. All right. Thank you much and have an absolutely wonderful week.